Brandon's over there screaming, I gave you a rematch. Yeah, I gave you a rematch. I, I don't I mind giving give you a rematch. You know what? We fought the Warriors. Give him a Warriors. Right, 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 Brandon, I give him a fight. I give it you too, baby. Brandon gave me a, a, a shot to redeem myself. I'll give him a shot for a trilogy. I, when he went to my backyard, I go to his backyard. Fuck it, Denver. I don't care. Where we go, Lock. Bring this title back home to my high city, baby. I'll defend it there. Respect, respect. I, I'll go to your city. I ain't scared. I never scared, dog. You already know how I roll. Hey, fans, do y'all guys want this number three? Y'all want the three? Let's do it. I'll go to your hometown. I'm a determined fighter. I got a heart and I got balls to fight. You know, I love this sport. I don't feel bad for my opponents in the ring. I don't give a about them in the ring. They're my enemies. I, I want to try to hurt them. I want to try to do anything I can to get them out. If I say I'm going to knock you out, I'm not going to go in there and hug you and kiss you and hold you and just play with you. I'm going to knock you out. There's no guarantee in the fight game. In boxing, anything can happen. A guy can get cut and it doesn't live up to the hype or anything. But this is as close as you can get. Both of these guys, Rios and Alvarado, have that thing in them, that next level thing. You hit me, I'm gonna hit you back harder. Question is, after tonight, will their names be hyphenated, Rios and Alvarado, the way Wards and Gaddies are, the way Corrales and Castillo are? That's the kind of talk that has been buzzing around boxing since this fight was made. The expectations heading into Rios Alvarado won. That's fight of the year. And the reason for that was, while Rios was a tough slugger coming up, there was something about him that made you say, he wants it more. It's more important for him to win. And same thing with Alvarado. When you have two guys like that, it's hard to imagine how that doesn't wind up being a great fight. So as soon as the first round starts, you got the fight you were expecting. Bob's away! Rios and Alvarado! When I get hit, what I'm thinking about, motherfucker, you tag me. Now it's my turn to tag you back. I knew it was going to be a good fight. I knew it was going to spark a lot of action and a lot of good epic moments. We went at it, we killed each other. I felt early in the fight, Alvarado was getting the better of it with his length and his boxing ability from the outside. So Alvarado's success could have been his undoing, where you get confident, you feel like you're doing well, you start exchanging with the guy. He was landing everything on me. Ever thought I was hurt and done. And then he stopped, and then I put my pressure on him. Good left-right combination. Now it's time for Rios to go to work. In the sixth round, first it was over right hand, and I hurt him. And then I hit him with the body shot, and I hurt him again. So I knew that if I keep putting the pressure on him and keep hitting him, I can get him out of there. There was a moment in that fight where he caught me with a good blow, you know, and it changed the fight up. I know when you got to a good body shot, deep breath, deep breath. Keep throwing your uppercuts, uppercuts body, uppercuts hooks, uppercuts, nothing on the outside. When I have a fighter hurt, I don't think of nothing, and I just go and try to finish him off. 